Here's something brand new and I'm so excited to show it to you. It's called Color Me Papers. Now these Color Me Papers don't look like much right now, but let me show you something. First of all, they have a raised image on them and it's white on a white sheet. And the magic is that you can turn this into any color you want. So, okay, I've got butterflies here and you may not believe that, but let me show you this. Ah, now do you see those butterflies? Now I'm just adding a, uh, this is a Memento ink pad. You can use any ink pads. Then I'm going to go back and just rub off that raised area and look at the depth that's happening. Now I can certainly use it um, just one color at a time, but I can also play with it. So in this case, I'm adding a little bit of grape jelly just over the top, maybe on the edges. And you can see I get a variety of colors. I want to make sure to put the lid back on. And again, I can go over the top and really show those colors. And it's fun to just add one color or to start mixing them. Now, this is butterflies. There are six different designs. Here's the butterflies in shades of blue. This is using the Distress inks. Now, I've also got, as I said, six more patterns. So here are my leaves. Now, I may choose to do my leaves, oh, maybe I want them in a spring green. What do you think? Nice and pretty. Now, if I wanted to, I could go back and do a little bit of highlighting. Maybe I'm going to take in some yellow. Normally, I would start with my lightest color first, which means I just did this in the reverse order, but you get what I mean. Now, here I've got it in spring colors. I could choose to use fall colors, and this is with the rusty hinge and the wild honey of the Distress Inks, a little bit of a sage green also. Now, you're going to notice there's a tag on here. There is a six sheet, or of the six sheets, there's one that has tags and borders. Okay, you can't see anything here, but let me bring back that first album page. See this tag? It's quite a substantial tag. It's about four or five inches long, and it has this swirl on it as well as the butterfly. So we did two different inks. One, we did the lighter ink on the uh, whole thing, and then we went back and took a makeup sponge or a stippling brush or a Q-tip and did a darker blue just into that butterfly. Then we pulled back the sheet and um, just inked one butterfly, cut it out and lifted it up with foam tape. So this is one tag and let me see, on the sheet there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tags and two borders. The tag that you saw right here is another one of the tags on that sheet. So they all have a design and they do coordinate with the six papers or you can use them separately. Now let's look at some of the other designs. Here we've got a swirl and swirls are just great because you can use them for anything. Here's, here it is in red and I thought that was very fun. This is the Distress Ink I'm using. And uh, let me also do it, uh, not necessarily that I might use these colors together, but just so that you can see what it is in uh, this pumice stone. And again, I like to go back and wipe off just to remove the excess because the raised area is a slick area and the ink won't stick to it. Now, let me see. We also have a, um, a tapestry, and that's what this one is, and it's just a very elegant look. Now, if you're a card maker, you know that with a 12 by 12 sheet, you can make four different cards. Now, the beauty of this is that you can make four cards in four different colors. The sixth sheet is flowers. And with this one, I will add, um, here is another purple. Okay, I like purple. But I really, that's the best way for you to see these designs is to see how very pretty they are when, uh, when they're used um, with the inks on them. Now, you can do ink pads, you can do uh, chalks, you can do markers, you can do watercolors, you can uh, do any of the spritz or the mists. You can also, and I'm not sure if we can see this, but you can reheat the images and add, in this case, Lene added glitter to the butterflies, or you can add embossing powder. With that, you want to work one area at a time. So the Color Me papers are just fabulous. They're all available, and they're available right now.